Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I go by Kai and I make our videos. And I have been gone for a while, but not really gone because I've still been posting um, regularly. But I haven't made like a full length video in, I don't know, like a lot of months. I don't even know when the last time was that I posted a full length video. I think it probably was like April or March. Basically, I've just been doing um, TikToks. I've been repurposing my TikToks and putting them on YouTube as YouTube Shorts. Because it's a lot easier to shoot a one minute video and edit it versus like a 10 to 20 minute video like you would on YouTube. So today I am going to be finishing up a series of sorts. So earlier this year I got the Jaza Ultimate Creativity Box and I have been unboxing them. But then I stopped. I have unboxed the first two which was the Inky Box and the Sculpt Box. So the Minis Box is left. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not going to be putting the price or estimated price up on screen like I did for the last one just because I wouldn't even know where to find the prices for some of these things. Okay, the minis are not something that I'm into. I think the only reason I bought the entire collection was because I was already buying the first two boxes. So it's like, why not get the third? Why not get the whole collection? I fell prey to the marketing. Not unhappy about it though. But yeah, let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, just to be clear, I recorded this in May. So I unboxed it in May, but I'm just getting around to editing it. I actually have like a ton of videos that I've recorded, but I just haven't edited them. So I'm going to start editing them now and posting them up because I feel like I'm ready to make full length videos again. So anyways, let's get into the box. Okay, so the first thing that we have is the Stay Wet palette, which is exactly what it sounds. And then we have the Jazza's Mega Mini Box Guide Booklet, filled with a lot of cool information. We have Super Glue, which from watching a lot of studs in studio, I know is an essential mini diorama staple. We have spruce cutters to cut away the minis. We have the an Excel blade, a exacto knife from Excel blades. And according to Ethel Clay, Excel blades are the best. And we have one of these six well mixing palette and milliput, which is like a two part water based epoxy putty thingy. We have wood glue for mixing when doing dioramas. We have the Army Painters Java Collection. We're gonna get inside this and see what all comes in it a little later on in the video. Alright, and then we have the um, Apocalypse Ghost Miniature Kit. And this is a custom design by Jaza from one of his artworks. And then we have the Puppet Soir Jazzy Strikers. And we're going to get into both of those later in the video then we have the art print and the art print is like a photo of Jaza setting up the miniature that comes in the box and just like posing it setting it and it's actually based on one of his old artwork and then way at the bottom of the box we still have more things we have a sheet of cork board foam core and a foam board which is useful for diorama buildings and then at the very bottom we have a custom cutting board which has his face on it so that's everything in the box so let's take a closer look at some of the items Alright, so the Stay Wet palette, it keeps your shit wet. You can put your paints in it and if you need to step away for a day or two, you can just close it up and it will keep your paints wet for a while. 
So it comes with like uh, it's the, the paper sheet type palettes and then it comes with a sponge underneath. So basically you would wet the sponge and then you would put the paper on top and then you would put your paints on top and use it as you would a palette. And this comes with a couple sheets but Jasa did suggest that instead of buying the paper palette you could just use wax paper and it works the same. So that's cool. I had been planning on buying one of these so I'm glad it's in the box. So the Mega Minis guidebook is pretty standard like the rest. It tells you what's in the box. It gives you some instructions on how to assemble and paint minis and a little information about building dioramas and it also um, lets you know different resources like other diorama builders and mini painters that you could follow on YouTube to get more information so that's pretty cool Alright, so let's look at the Apocalypse Ghost real quick. So it's based off of one of Jaza's whole work and the way it's set up is you could either set it up as two separate miniatures or as one collective piece. Then we have the, the Puppet Soir Jazzy Strikers which just has a bunch of different miniature parts that you can put together however you want to create these little army dude type things. I don't know what all the parts are, but there's there's five of these little circle things, which I assume are bases to put your little miniature guys on. There's also five body bases, but then there's a bunch of other parts so that you can customize each one all you want. There's different arms, guns, swords and stuff. And then there's, there's like 11 heads in here, maybe more. And then it also includes some small magnets so that you can make it so things can be interchangeable. So after that we have the Army Painter Jazz's collection. And this little box is so filled with things. It's like an unboxing within an unboxing and I love it it comes with this cute little booklet that gives you a lot of information it's the war gamers army painting guide so like honestly even though it's something that I've never done before I feel equipped to handle painting a miniature not so sure about building dioramas but with this I definitely feel equipped to paint a miniature and the kit actually has everything you need inside it to fully paint a miniature so for example we have a lot of paints we have the black the white the primaries and some fleshy and earthy tones and then you have the special paints like your primers and your strong toners your gloss varnish and then gold and silver so really spoiled for choice here and you know with the primers you could always mix whatever colors you want then we have this other little container that's filled with even more things like uh, you have basing materials which you know is to put out the base of your miniatures or you know in your little dioramas there's like wood and grass and like different textures like that like moss so a lot of options here so these are the the strong tone and the varnish and the gold and silver that I mentioned earlier the kit also comes with um, small tweezers that you're going to need to get control and accuracy when you're putting together your basing and your flocking materials. They also include three brushes. So you have the master class paintbrush that gets you the smallest details. You have a basing brush and then you have a brush for dry brushing. 
Like, honestly, this kid has everything that you need to paint miniatures, except maybe a magnifying glass. Like, watching this footage over and seeing all the stuff that's in the box, like, it makes me want to take the box out and try and do a little miniature painting. I think the thing is, you know, I'm not really into, like, army stuff. So like if it was like miniatures of like dragons or forest nymphs or some mythical magical creatures, I probably would have done something already. But I'm not above trying new things. So anyways, that's the video. That's everything that was in this box. Like I said, I don't know what the individual prices are, but just looking at it, I can tell that it's worth a lot more than the $1.99 price tag for this and technically I got it cheaper because I got the whole collection and if you got the whole collection you got a discount so I definitely feel like I got more than what I paid for and it's still one of my like happiest purchases fully satisfied customer so yeah so look out for my other videos that's going to be coming out soon hopefully thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one bye